CWMSC is currently located in Schmidt Hall on the campus of Montclair State University. But in the spring of 2017, WMSC will find its new home in the brand new School of Communication and Media building that's currently under construction. WMSC's new studios will be located on the second floor of the new state-of-the-art building. There will be more space and more studios, including a fully live recording studio. The best part about the new building is this newsroom because we will have a representative of each outlet on campus and it will have access to wires and different software that would allow us to see news in real time before they actually hit other media. One of the hopes of the new newsroom is that all of the media outlets on campus will begin to think as a team instead of independently. So that the Montclairian thinks digitally, thinks about aud adding audio to its stories, gets that audio in partnership from a production point of view with WMSC, and that they share video projects and that everything that goes on within the school has this cross-platform approach. The future is not solely focused on the new building. WMSC is also focused on rebranding from an underground radio station and finding its new identity with alternative music. Finding an identity that resonated with the campus in the term of music was really important to, for charting. Charting with CMJ is pretty much, you know, the main thing that college radio does and like that's how the industry notices you. And if you're not charting, no label, no management, no publicist, no artist will really give you the credit you deserve. It's also a way to build a listenership. If you know as a listener what you're going to get, I think you not being on campus but outside of here like Montclair, you know, and Clifton and uh, the area would definitely be um, more inclined to tune in more often. When people tune in to radio, they're usually in their cars in the morning. So if we can create content that can assist the community in that type of the day, well then we've, we've reached our goal because we've now, we've now gotten the community to listen to us and we've given them what they needed. They tune into the morning buzz and they like what they hear. They'll keep tuning in on their drive home and then they'll hear whatever concert will be in the afternoon or in the evening, which will be that sonically cohesive sound that we're trying to get to right now. In today's tech savvy world, radio is now multimedia. WMSC hopes their new website will be integrated with more news as well as allow listeners to interact with the DJs. I like to have a schedule where you can click and it's a little bit more interactive. You get a little bit of a show description and a little bit about the host. One new emerging trend in media is podcasting. Well, I'm doing a podcast now about issues in uh, digital media and technology. From Montclair State University and WMSC-FM, the ladies on technology and media issues and top business headline news curated by your host, Meryl Brown. I also am a big fan of creative writing podcasts, um, which reminds me of all classic radio. I think if we can just get the content to be right, to have creative writers write it and the right production team produce it, you can have a great podcast that can have a following, not within the campus only, but just outside of here too. One of WMSC goals moving forward is to have more of an impact in the surrounding community. The hope for the newsroom that we really establish it as a real uh, presence on university campus and in the larger uh, northern Jersey community where important stories are being covered in video, audio, and in text form that will have an impact here at the university and throughout the area. We covered the South Building and the Feliciano School of Business. Those are, those are two buildings that are not within the School of Communication and Media, but we were able to reach out to them and they were very happy with the work we did. So we can keep uh, stressing that we're open to all schools and all students. We can get more coverage out to the school and we'll have a bigger presence on campus. I see us as being more inclusive and a, a recognized ent entity within the university. WMSC is a place where students can find their career path and the station only strives to continue to do that in the future. I was undeclared at the very beginning of my freshman year. Um, joined the radio station, got involved with the sports team, and in January, I was a sports media and journalism major. You're listening to SMC Sports right here on 90.3 FM. Being a part of, you know, my sports show that I have, other sports shows that have been on the air, sports broadcasts, uh, that's helped me declare my major. As for my career, it's basically now set in stone what I want to do, um, and that's what WMSC did for me. I came into the station as an undeclared 
and I was able to find my major. I was, I was able to find my way at the station. So it doesn't matter what you are. You can be a psych major, a nutrition major, a business major. It doesn't matter. WMC is a place where you can discover who you are as a person. And that's what I discovered. I hope that the station will be a reason for high school graduates to look at MSU as an opportunity, as a college, and as their future. The school and the administration are not the only ones with goals for WMSC. The students have their own aspirations for the future of the station. Well, I'd like to see the station well, get to that sonically cohesive sound, obviously. I mean, we've seen radio stations like WSOUSC in Hall and WPSC at William Patterson. Those are some stations that have a lot of backing and a gigantic radius because of the content they have. That's the goal, obviously, I, I would assume WMSC has because we have a great school, a great staff. Why shouldn't we also have a great radius as well? My goal on future students is to take, you know, what I've learned here, give it to them, and then see what they can do around with it. I remember um, Kat told me one time that when she set the standard for producing sports broadcasts, she said I exceeded the standard of producing sports broadcasts. I want somebody to do that when I'm gone. About a month after I started my uh, job here at WMSC, I got a very nice letter from founder Ed Helvey, in which he was very happy to receive me and tell me the history of the station and how he went about forming this great club at the time and how exciting this was for him. And I was very excited to hear his excitement about what was to come for the station, but also I was very moved by some words he said. He said, you know, this was my dream. so take care of my dream, expand my dream, foster it, and just baby my dream, and I wish you the best. And I only hope that I can serve him right when I'm doing the next few things I have to do. And for now, WMSC concludes its broadcast day. WMSC is operated by the students of Montclair State University and is licensed to operate on channel 212 with an effective radiated power of 0.86 watts. WMSC is broadcast on 90.3 FM and streams on the web at WMSCRadio.com. Our transmitter is located at the New Jersey Public Broadcast Facility in the borough of Little Falls. Good day and good night.